Hi guys, this is Justin with SurvivalReviews.com. Today I have a really one of the most ridiculous uh, flashlights that I've ever personally seen uh, and that's available for purchase. It's called the Through Night TN30 and it actually has three XML LEDs inside of it. Now that's not the uh, the most ridiculous thing. The most ridiculous thing is that it retails for two hundred and forty dollars on Amazon.com, and that it shines over, or I shouldn't say over, but it shines three thousand lumens bright. That's right, you heard me, three thousand lumens. It's ridiculously bright. Um, this thing will make a bad guy wet their pants. If they're coming towards you in the night and you hit them in the eyes with this, uh, it could damage your eyesight. So don't. This is not a flashlight to play around with. If you shine it in somebody's eyes and you're within, you know, 24 inches, um, a long enough duration, shined, shined in somebody's eyes or shown in somebody's eyes, and it will cause some some damage. So be careful with that. It comes in this nice. Uh, metal little box it's almost like a uh, almost like an ammo box not an ammo box but almost like a, a pistol box nice little case it's uh, aluminum and I guess plastic let me show you this thing and I feel like that I should have the uh, apocalypse now music playing or something when I open this up but let me just show you this comes with a uh, case and a uh, with velcro closures for the belt and for the snap but before I show you that to show you it does come with a uh, lanyard it comes with uh, this card that is a warranty card plastic warranty card you fill out there and a nice, again, nice foam case. And then it comes with a uh, instruction manual, the Through Night TN30 user manual. This thing is, again, totally ridiculous. So let me show you some of the, uh, what it actually looks like. Now keep in mind, I'm going to move the case out of the way. Keep in mind, guys, that this is a standard tactical flashlight. This is an ultra fire. Uh, I think these things put out about 120, 130 lumens. So it's just an infant compared to the the TN30. It's an amateur flashlight. It wants to be a TN30 when it grows up. This is a uh, Smith and Wesson bodyguard. I'll do a review about this at some point. But I just want to show you kind of the size of these. Now, take a look at this Through Night TN30. Look at this. Look at the size of this beast. I mean, you could you could bludgeon a sperm whale to death with this thing if you wanted to. It is incredibly large. It's heavy. It's definitely made really, really well. You can see the thickness of the the aircraft grade aluminum that's inside of this. It's actually as thick as some hunting knives, an eighth of an inch thick or so. It's ridiculous. Again, this is a 380 pistol, and this is a flashlight. Look at that. It is insane. So let's talk about some of the features of this flashlight. The uh, on-off is controlled by this tail switch here. I don't have any batteries inside of the flashlight right now, but it's just a single uh, push rubberized on-off switch. Again, the flashlight is made of aluminum with a uh, hard anodized 
Type 3 finish. And you guys will have to look that one up. Comes with an aluminum case. It's got three Cree XM L U2 LEDs. Each one of these LEDs is supposedly rated with a lifespan of 20 plus years of runtime. I'm not so sure about that, but uh, I've never had a, a Cree LED go out on me. Again, a maximum of 3,000 lumen output using three 18650 batteries. And look at that. I just happen to have three 18650 batteries. So let's put them in. See what this bad boy can do. This is not, uh, I should say that this is not my flashlight. It was not provided by Through Night to me to review. This is my brother in law's flashlight. He had me pick it up for him. I personally would not buy a flashlight that's $240. Um, it's a little too expensive for me and it's a little bit on the uh, on the far side of reality for how much how bright you need a flashlight to be what I want when I'm walking around when I'm doing uh, concealed carry when I've got my uh, gear and equipment on me is I want something relatively light like this that provides a high enough output beam that I could blind someone temporarily it's got the strike bezel. Um, it's got a good throw length with it. And this flashlight, here's the, the bottom piece for the batteries. This flashlight is just entirely, entirely over the top in my opinion. It's, a, it's a, certainly a great flashlight. Don't get me wrong. I love this thing. If I had a bunch of uh, disposable money around, I might buy it. But I certainly wouldn't want to strap this on my belt along with my service pistol and a couple folding EDC knives and trek this through the woods all day. Um, I guess unless I had a super good belt and I <laughs> didn't mind if my pants periodically or shorts periodically tried to fall down. This thing is heavy. Uh, and when it... Uh, there it goes. Zero is, and along with the uh, ramp, power ramp, I'm turn that on. So here's the lowest setting, which is uh, one lumen. Then I'm going to gradually turn it up here. There's 38 lumens, 352 lumens. I hope I don't damage my camera. Here's 932 lumens. It's all, it's actually hurting my eyes right now, even though I'm uh, I'm not looking directly at the lens. Here's 1580 lumens. Again, totally ridiculous the brightness. And here's the brightest one, which is the. 3,000 lumens. It looks like I'm holding a flare in my hand. It's uh, completely, completely ridiculous. It's also got a switch for standby mode. You can turn it on standby. It'll go off until you need it. And then it's got a mode for uh, strobe. Let's see when the strobe comes on. There you go. The strobe is extremely disorienting. Disorientating. I'm actually uh, almost ready to toss my cookies just just filming that thing. It's it's ridiculous. So, do I recommend this flashlight? You know, I recommend this flashlight if you've got spare money to spend. It's definitely overkill, in my opinion. Uh, having this flashlight and bringing this flashlight with you is like bringing a, a howitzer to a uh, a howitzer to a gunfight. I mean, yeah, it's okay to do, but 
you'll definitely have uh, overwhelming force on your side. You'd definitely be able to blind someone. Uh, again, if you hold this too close to someone's face when it's on, you can actually permanently damage their eyes. So I caution everybody to be careful with this thing. And uh, again, heavy, heavy duty flashlight, uh, 1.4 pounds. I feel like I could, uh, you could definitely beat something senseless with this flashlight. It wouldn't damage the flashlight at all. Um, but a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit too much too much uh, brightness it's it's a little overkill for what you really need retails for two hundred and forty dollars if you have the money you like the novelty buy it it's really well constructed it's got a cool case it's got a cool uh, nylon uh, pouch for your belt comes with the case it's the brightest flashlight that's currently on the market today Buy it if you have the money and like the novelty. This is Justin for SurvivalReviews.com. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We'll keep bringing videos to you. Charlie Mike.